The history of the Sisters of this church is a, is a history of serving, and it's happened since the beginning. If you go back to Nauvoo, you hear about the necessity committees that were formed, and that was absolutely woven into Relief Society from the earliest days. Think about Emmeline B. Wells. Brigham Young calls her and basically says, I've tried to get the men to store wheat, and it just hasn't worked. Could the sisters store wheat? And so they start learning about wheat and they don't know anything about wheat. And it spoils and there's weevils and there's rodents and there are all the things that you would imagine, but over time, they figured it out. Stored enough wheat that if you then go forward several decades, where did the US government turn for wheat? To the Relief Society sisters. There's a pretty great letter written by Herbert Hoover thanking Emmeline B. Wells for the wheat that actually saved lives. When I was serving in the Relief Society General Presidency in the late 90s with Sister Mary Ellen Smoot and Sister Virginia Jensen, there was another need. The presiding bishopric came to us and said, we got a war in Kosovo. They've made it clear that they need, we're going into winter, they need quilts. Do you think the Relief Society sisters could make quilts? Absolutely. So a call went out from the presiding bishopric and from the Relief Society General Presidency saying, we need some quilts, we need 40,000 quilts. We had about 60 days to gather 40,000 quilts. And in those 60 days, we had 140,000 quilts and could never turn the spigot off for quilts. Our sisters see a need and they'll meet a need and they jump in immediately. There are so many examples. Uh, we, we could go to any country in the world today and you could find places where you can look and see, wow, there is power in a group of women who really believe the first and second commandments to love God and to love our neighbor. So here we are again, now looking at a worldwide need, a pandemic of all things. And once again, what happens? The Relief Society sisters step forward. The call is made from the Relief Society General Presidency. Can we make some masks? And we make millions of masks and everybody wants to help. I think it's important to go back and realize why we want to help though. These are women of covenant. They really do believe God is our Father and that we ought to love Him with all of our hearts. And that one way we show that we love Him with all of our hearts is to help someone else. And you see that manifest in a time of need in the most stunning ways for the Sisters of Relief Society.